Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Blazing X, and welcome back to Cosmic Chatter, where I give my thoughts and opinions on numerous Cosmeteer related topics. Note, these are just my opinions. Do not go and say, oh, Blazing said this, thus it must be law. I gave two pounds this time. Don't know why I did that, but I did. Anyway, these are just my thoughts and opinions. Do not take them as something you should completely follow blindly. Do your research. Look into it. And in the end, after doing some research and diving into the Cosmere world, make your opinion. However, without further ado, let us begin. So today, I know I did a video on the past in shipbuilding. This is going to be the development of ship building and how it has progressed since the classical era to the modern era and lord knows what's going to happen in the postmodern era i'm calling it the postmodern era i, I define the postmodern era as once like all because he still walt still has plans for more major updates but lord knows when there are those are going to come they could we could not even see those for another five years who knows but for now we're in the modern era so i think for shipbuilding. So we gotta remember, so in the day, there was a lot less, it was very plain Jane, very basic. Um, not much restraint on what you could do, what you can't do, and there wasn't, you could, I mean, yes, there was some thinking that you had to do. You couldn't just plop this here and right, left, and center. But, you know, you had a lot more, I think, freedom in how you could place things and a lot less thinking, versus now you do gotta think about some things. Like, for example, to in with the crews, I find the crews people having a lot of time, a lot of hard time with, because now the crews, especially like, <clears throat> especially like the the smaller crews, like the two door crews, or like the um, two crew, um, one by two, you can only put two doors on that, whereas before you could put up to six, and you could place them anywhere. Now you have to actually really think about it. And as well with all the new factories and stuff like that too, you gotta think about that stuff. Even the the, the main one I notice is between the large shield, the the new large shield, and the uh, the two by two six crew um, quarters. Those two I find people are having a lot of hard time with because now they have to think where they're gonna put this stuff. They can't just go all willy nilly. Oh, we'll just put a crew here. Oh wait, we don't have the door space. Right? It's not like it was before. And so now we're in this time where we have to think a little more. Which I think... <laughs> I'm saying an alliteration here. Um, but I think it's a better idea. I think it makes us better as shipbuilders. Because now we're not just going all willy-nilly. we got to really think. I know recently um, I'm building a missile barge. Like the, the ghostly scrub. Great example. I had to really think long and hard about the ghostly scrub and how to make its new iteration from the old days because the old days were pretty simplistic and now it's not and no i like the the new ghostly scrub the new ghostly scrub is faster i believe it pumps out more or well it definitely pumps out more missiles but i think it pumps them out at a no i, I think it's the same right which is great but I can't have as many crews. I can't just place them all willy-nilly like I used to be able to. So it's all these things you gotta keep in mind. I don't think it's bad. I know some of the old creators, like I know I, I've talked to some very well-known creators, uh, shipbuilders, and they're like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> and I, and you know, when we're starting out, especially when you're starting, just beginning in the modern world, I will agree with you, it sucks. If you've played the classical era version of Cosmeteer to this one, you will say, it sucks. But once you dive into it, I think it gets, you get used to it. I think you really do. And I think as you get used to it, you'll forget about that. And on, and you'll still just enjoy this game just as much as you did before. I will note now that you also got to think about storages a lot more. I remember when I started Cosmeteer Storages, I mean, you had, you had your energy storages, but you didn't have like you have now. Storages, when I were when I was starting in Cosmeteer, storages were irrelevant. They were something no one really gave a damn about. 
until crew behaviors were brought into the game, where you could modify how the crews reacted to certain things. Excuse me. And I think now that we have all these like, stored bins and capacitors and or with along with the crew behaviors and being able to assign these crews to specific points, I think now you know, again, a whole nother shift, because we didn't have storages before in Cosmodeer. When I heard that we'll be able to actually transfer resources and crews and things like that, I, it amazed me. And again, the airlocks, a whole nother thing you gotta think about. Crew shipbuilding as a whole in the modern world is so different, but at the same time, it's so much more interesting, and you gotta think a lot more. And in the end, I believe it's going to create a, this whole world of shipbuilders that is just gonna blow the old ones out of the park. I believe they're gonna eventually blow them out. I've seen some already very incredible designs. The deck cannon ships, for example, of King. King has created some amazing deck cannon ships that I believe I've just going off the walls. And as well with the new world, for example, like this, if you guys recently saw it, my scrub, um, the scrub combo revival video. I did a oh, Cosmeter online multiplayer. The fighters are, got, are getting better and better. Fighters are almost a new way to go because they're faster. Thrusters, I believe, are faster now, but fighters are just better. They just are. And I mean, yes, you need your storage ships, of course. But you know, so I, in this, I think in summary, this world will be better over time. People are going to get used to it over time. And as we get new people to the community, they're going to hate it. But with the older members being there, because I remember in the classical era, you could easily ask a, a veteran player, hey, how do I do this and that and all that stuff? It was very common practice. And I think that will come around again. I really do believe that we will go back to that time, at least as a community, where we're always more than willing to help each other. And, you know, I think it'll be great. I really do believe we'll achieve this at some point. Right now, it's a little iffy because the game's only been out the, as a mod, in the modern world for only a few months. But I think we'll get to that point somewhere down the line. However, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for some of my content. Also, leave a comment down below on what I mean to animate play or review next. Another than that, I will see you all in the next video.